Welcome back, everybody. Are you ready? You know I've been ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have been looking forward to this day for weeks now. She sings, she acts, she produces. She is one of only 17 people in the world who have actually won the EGOT. And now she's got her very own talk show, and it's going to be happening right here on Fox. So joining us, da -da 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 Chicago, Drew, don't do yes. yes. Hi. How are you? Jennifer so Hudson. Nice yes. <laughs> so good to see you again. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Well, we're so glad here. that you're here. Mm -hmm. um, here on GDC. Do you see what we did for yeah. you here? You, oh, I beautiful. see. Yes. I'm everywhere. If you didn't know yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you love that picture? Because I do. You know, I feel like it's me. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, yeah. I wanted my energy to just pop off the photo. It's doing yes. that. It, so it, do it's you feel it? It's I'm giving. feeling it. It's giving yes, life. That's what I want to hear. Let's talk about what's going on because there's a lot going on. You, you've got a lot of great things happening in happening. your world right now and we love to see it. Thank so um, this new talk show, mm -hmm. we know it's coming September 12th. It'll so cool. be right here on Fox 32. Yeah. Um, oh, really? Yes. Oh. Did you hear that? It's her yes. birthday. Yes. I knew September it was coming 12th. up soon. Oh. I knew it was coming up soon. So tell us what we can expect with this yeah. show. You know, I just want to bring everybody together on one accord. Yeah. See Everybody's superpowers. I love hearing people's stories. I love people, yeah. you know, so I'm intrigued by that. And I've been blessed to do so much in my mm -hmm. career. I want to help somebody else and mm -hmm. give someone else a platform. Well, mm -hmm. you've been doing that for wow. a long time, though, with Thank your you. foundation, which we're going to talk about in just a minute as well. But, um, you know, it's interesting because talk shows have changed over the years. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily yeah. personalities that were driving them. They would find people who are either comedians or journalists. And now we're seeing this switch. Um, what is going to make yours, you think, a little bit different than what we have seen? One thing I think is different is I've been on both sides. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, what I love is perspective. So to be able to interview people and it's like, I've experienced that. Yeah. But I feel like that in every capacity. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a place for celebrities, it's for everyday mm -hmm. people because I'm that person just the same. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah. I'm intrigued by that. So my questions will be led by my curiosity. Mm -hmm. Like I'm truly, genuinely interested. And and that's what inspires me and what I do. So it's like, it'll be a lot of that. And then I love being spontaneous and I love to respond to the moment. Uh -huh. And I always say, if I'm not having fun, then I don't feel like I'm, I'm mm. doing my part or doing my job. So yeah. I want everybody to have a good time when they come. Yeah, yeah. and you've had, you. you know, just such an incredible rise. Mm -hmm. um, and, and some of the uh, most coveted moments. Wow. And I know probably each time you have to be like, me? Oh my Every goodness, time. each time. Yeah. And now yes. this is another Even one of those mm -hmm. moments yes, for you. How does it <laughs> feel to take it in? It's it's really surreal. So anytime I say the Jennifer Hudson show, I'm like, I can't even believe right. I'm saying that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But I, I, I love, I'm passionate about every single thing I do. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I really want to do. So just know my heart is always oh. in it. Well, and you know what? We always refer to you as Chicago's yeah. own Jennifer Hudson. Yes, I mean, we are I proud that you come <laughs> from our city. Thank you. And I'm curious because, you know, everybody talks about Midwest ethics, right? Mm -hmm. And how people are. And I, I feel like maybe that's part of of what is the lure to you because I want to know how Chicago has shaped the Jennifer Hudson we know today. I attribute everything to Chicago. I always say being from Chicago allows my feet to touch the ground, mm. you know? Yes, I like to know that I can exist in an everyday world. I feel like it keeps me balanced. I still live here. Yeah. Even when I'm here, people are like, what are you doing here? Yeah. And I'm like, I live here, <laughs> I'm from here. No, you live in LA, no, I live here. Yeah. You know, I go where my work leads me, mm -hmm. but Chicago is always home. Mm. This is where my family is. This is where I was born and raised, and it's home, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, awesome. and, and there are so many great people who are in Chicago, who yeah. have come from Chicago. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you say, Chicago Zone, you're getting your mm -hmm. own talk show, you know who you're going to be compared to. Um, but this is going to be uniquely yeah. you. In what ways? Yes. Well, I want to Jenniferize the world. You know? I love that, Jenniferize. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and I feel like I just want to stay true to myself. I think we've all mm -hmm. been influenced by mm -hmm. talk shows. It's, mm -hmm. it's embedded in all of us. So that, that inspiration will shine through. But mm -hmm. again, I feel like in this capacity, I need to be me. We've seen me as characters, and we've seen me sing many a songs, but it's mm -hmm. like it's time for the human being 
the person, and I want to meet your human. Well, that is so exciting. Okay, I have to ask you. So you guys, the show premieres on your birthday. On my birthday. <laughs> right? Yes. And you're already in the works, putting things together. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a little peek into what we might see? Or are you keeping zip about it until it actually... I'm keeping zip about it yeah. because I want you to watch on Okay. So we're going to watch. <laughs> we're going to be oh, doing yeah. that regardless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, we haven't mentioned yet, and I want to talk about this too, is uh, your foundation. Mm -hmm. And you were out there yesterday. Yeah, and, and I that. think we're going to talk a little bit more about it coming up in just a bit. But, um, you know, I was just so struck mm -hmm. by um, how compassionate you immediately mm -hmm. were. You know, we were kind of um, waiting on some things to come together. And you were like, let me go out with the folks you know <laughs> yeah. like let me go get mm -hmm. some hugs Thank yeah you. I love to be hands-on you know and yeah. it's also healing for our family my nephew would have been 21 this year you yeah. know and then we're really like invested in the children you know mm -hmm. so we get to see them throughout the season and each year we get to see them start in, in, in their early ages and then graduate and go on you know throughout our foundation. Tell everybody how that started for people who aren't familiar with, uh, because you've been doing it for how many years now? Ooh, job and lost count. <laughs> um, at least about 13 years, wow. I want to say. Yeah. And I started, and my mother used to always say, Jenny, what I love about you, no matter how negative things may be, mm. you always seem to find a positive. Mm -hmm. And so when we lost our family, I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to turn this yeah. into a yeah. positive. But my sister used to always shop for her son, like early on. Right, mm -hmm. and then it, obviously we stopped looking forward to the holidays. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, well, what if we give, like, she's allowed to shop in his honor but for other children. Yeah. And so we started at our church basement. Mm -hmm. I took some little change out my pocket, honey, <laughs> and we started giving back from the church. I never would have guessed that it would snowball mm -hmm. into the Julian B. King Gift yes. Foundation. Well, right. We're going to show everybody mm -hmm. um, yeah. more from the event that happened yesterday coming up in just a few minutes. We don't want you to go away. Nope. We don't want to give away too much about that. Um, but, you know, you mentioned the fact that um, there was a musical uh, inspiration, too, in your life. How much is music going to play into your show? Because, you know, we're like, is she going to say? I know. Yeah, music is me. I am music and music is me, so it uh -huh. will always be present. Uh -huh. I'm not going to pull a mic from under my chair or anything yes. like that, but it's an expression. Sure, you know, uh -huh. I may want you to sing, oh. you know, <laughs> or whatever you feel, you, you know, whatever you're comfortable <laughs> with. It's an expression. You express okay. yourself. <laughs> I got I to gotta share a story. I was at Ravinia. You don't remember because you meet so know. many people all I the time. Know, like, I was I'm at Ravinia present. three years ago. Was it three years ago or four years ago you were there? Anyway, About, mm -hmm. it was there for a gala, mm -hmm. and you were... Um, uh, obviously, the, the the person everybody came out to see to help raise money for Ravinia, too. But I remember it was a beautiful summer night, and Jennifer, you were singing a song, and I just started crying. Oh. Like you touched my soul thank you. like nobody I'd ever experienced thank before. Wow, thank you. I know. So <laughs> just do you know what song it was? I, I just I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, but I just because you sang a lot that night. I did. Yeah. But I just remember you touched my soul and thank I was you. and afterwards I came to meet you and you were so gracious. Thank so you anyway, so much. Yeah. I can't wait for you guys wow. to see her show mm -hmm. and if she is in concert, go see her because it is an amazing experience, yeah. your whole body. I could felt it from my head all the way Aww. to my toes. And I feel so, like that's still going to come out in the show, yeah. you yeah. know, um, because you have one of those spirits that it's like whatever you're doing, it all comes out. 100%. You know, you, you emote, you. and that's just yeah. a wonderful thing. We're going to talk you. more with Jennifer mm -hmm. coming up in just a bit, but we do want to get over to Mike. Um, he's going to tell us a little bit. Look, the sun is trying to come out for you. Yeah. It was a little gloomy, and now it's yeah. like Jennifer's here, so let me shine. Right? <laughs> I love the sun. Yeah.